Pablo Picasso loved the ocean and the Côte d'Azur. In the summer, he would take a late morning swim and then go to his studio to work. He first visited the beach at the resort of Golf Juan in 1946. His new studio was perched on the hill overlooking the sea. The town of Valoris has been known as a center of the ceramics industry for centuries. At age 66, Picasso began learning the craft at the Madura studio. Dominique Sassi assisted Picasso on his projects for more than 20 years. Some of the pieces from the Madura studio are on display at the Picasso Museum in Valoris. Well, this is an old pottery jug here, a very traditional ceramic piece. Picasso was very interested in works like this. At the Madura studio, he often painted them with doves and fawns. Picasso made no mistake coming to Valoris. Here in this stronghold of ceramics, he found many different shapes to inspire him. In Valoris, Picasso was one potter among many, he liked to say. He developed close friendships with some of the artists, including Roger Capron, who died in 2006. Capron's ceramics still rank among the finest work produced in Valoris. They even celebrated Picasso's birthday together. But as Roger's widow recalls, when it came to ceramics, he always went his separate way. A potter would prepare the pieces and then Picasso would come and take a vase that was still soft clay and would turn and shape it and suddenly it would be a small figure of a woman or a dove. The owners of the Madura studio had to deliver the wares to the shops and gift boutiques. They always worried that because of Picasso, they wouldn't be able to make their deliveries on time. The Edition Picasso was a solution to this dilemma. Picasso created the original design, which the ceramic studio produced in limited editions and then sold, like these plates, for example. Picasso's name drew artists and potters to Valoris from far and wide, helping revive what had been a tradition in decline. Even today, Valoris is still known for its ceramics. Some of the craftsmen, like Marc Piano, focus primarily on works of fine art. Others produce pottery in large quantities, mainly dishware for use in restaurants and private homes. This is a small commercial order, 500 identical pieces. I also make artistic pieces, but to make a living I have to do both. Picasso came to Valoris in 1947 and lived in this house for almost 10 years. Later, after he spent time in Cannes and the Provence, he returned to the nearby town of Mougins, where he spent the last 12 years of his life. With its many galleries and restaurants, the medieval village of Mougins is a popular tourist destination. The exhibition at the Mougins Museum of Photography is also well worth a visit. Among the artists represented, there is André Villiers, who took many photos of Picasso over the years. This photo shows Picasso with his wife Jacqueline, whom he married at the Valoris City Hall in 1961. Not far away, the sculpture Man with Lamb graces the small market square. It was a gift by Picasso to the people of Valoris. The local chateau houses one of Picasso's most monumental works, the painting entitled War and Peace. Picasso discovered this place when he first visited our city of ceramics in 1947. He was still deeply disturbed by the experience of the war. He wanted to express that with this enormous painting. It's Picasso's largest painting. Picasso later commented that if peace ever conquered the world, the war he painted here would become part of the past.